All right, hello, Divine Feminines. I started shuffling. You can still see my boxes of stuff I'm moving around. But anyway, I wanted to adjust the angle and turn on the light. Um, the, I'm, I was going to say, I've been trying to get to this reading for like three hours, and there's a bunch of delays. It's very slow. And then the night, <laughs> you can't make it up. The Knight of Pentacles fell out. Uh, so we have King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Oh gosh, I already did the TikTok readings today and it was, you know, this masculine has something to say, but they really feel like they're not interested in what they have to say. They really feel like the word immature is coming, but they're just thinking like, I feel like they've been observing you and the more that they observe you the more that they feel like she's never going to take this, the offer that I give her let's see what's going on five of cups four of swords nine of swords chariot hangman two of wands ace of wands ace of swords so we already saw the ace of pentacles Oh, look at Ace of Cups. We got them all. So three aces is my sign for spiritual awakening. This masculine is really wondering what is going on with my brain. It's what he's saying. But um, I think he really wants to talk to you about this experience that he's had, he just doesn't know how to come, like the Ten of Wands with the Chariot reversed is such a strong energy of like, holding back to me. Yeah, we got Empress energy here. And the Crown Chakra, he's been getting all sorts of downloads in his crown. Just feeling very alone. This is the energy I get of the Five of Cups with the Four of Swords. I don't know. He wants to run away, but you know, when something's going on in you and you're having a spiritual awakening, you, you can try to run, but you're not going anywhere. A lot of these cards came out. Yeah, the Void came out in the TikTok reading. Um... That channel is Women Manifesting Wealth, if you want to go watch it. It was like two, three minute readings. Wanting to speak the truth. Wanting to... Look at that. The sacral connection between you two is so strong. He loves feeling the sacral connection. I feel like if, you know, everybody's different, but like I know I can feel that sacral pull when it's activated and... It's a beautiful energy, but so the longer you kind of sit with it and get comfortable with it and it opens up to that, to the heart awakening. Um, I want to follow my heart and I miss holding you. I don't want this to be over with us. You're so beautiful. I don't feel good enough for you. I see signs of you everywhere I go. I feel so much regret and you're so different. My fears keep stopping me. I love you. So he does have a lot of fear and there's a lot of regret here. His heart feels confused in a lot of, wow, it sounds like thunder. Um, his heart feels confused about which direction to go. This Four of Swords in particular is very protective around the heart to me. It's like you're cocooned, your heart's cocooned, right? It's got this little like string of lights with the red cord, you know? And the heart is like, you know, two different things. It's like the heart's outside the body, but also this is somebody like, 
feeling someone else's heart with them, right? Not today in reverse abundance. So more Empress energy, addiction, clock, axe, mirror, sunglasses, hammer. Interesting. Girl with the snake and kisses is on the bottom. So we have the karmic energy still. Um, I did do that uh, hour long 1111 channeling, which definitely cleared a lot of things out for the feminine energy. And it may be why he's having another awakening. Um, because when we clear the negative, follow us and they don't um they don't really have a choice in it we just we heal we move forward they go through it too and they don't really go through it the way that we do they are not you i heard something about you wow you are beautiful so second time I want to be more than friends. I ran away. So he did run away. But that's what I was talking about in the beginning of this reading. You have changed me. I am ready. I don't feel ready, but that came out in reverse. Like I said, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm scared of commitment. Why did you leave? Um, there's two of wands here. He's doing something in his mind where he's kind of trying to go down each road, each choice. And it's like, what happens at this point if I don't follow my heart? If I don't go with her? If I don't talk to her? If I don't tell her what I'm feeling? If I don't try to pursue this? What happens to me? There's this feeling this overriding feeling that it's like a lot of stuff has happened in his life and he's waking up to realizing he may have at one point like blamed you or blamed the situation or whatever it was that that's why bad stuff was happening but he's really waking up to the fact that <coughs> everything good has come from you and again, we have the blackbirds here. Everything good has come from you. And you're like all of the three of these aces and the ace of pentacles that we saw in the pre-shuffle. They're all in reverse. He doesn't know how to start to make the new start yeah i think that's just someone rolling a trash bin um but it's like consuming his mind it's like he's stuck for sure he's stuck here he's stuck in a painful conflict about the fear of making a mistake I feel like because he's made a mistake before and <sighs> Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups. He tends to like give too much, not give too much, tends to go too fast when exploring options um and and if getting this message like it's not from the right mindset it's like they're it's kind of just surfacey i don't know how to, to explain that look at all those birds oh nine of pentacles and four of pentacles he wants it's like he's kind of making a little bit of a mistake here with guarding his heart because I feel like at one point he felt left out, hurt, betrayed something. And he did something very impetuously. 
could have been run away, could have been ghost, could have been said something you've regretted because his heart felt like attacked and then it shut down because it was like transported right back to some trauma or some feeling that he'd had before and it scared the bleep out of him, right? And it still comes up when he thinks about really caring for somebody. It's like when he really cares, this, like, they're just saying out of the blue, and I just saw the electric eel card. They're just saying out of the blue, this feeling comes, and it kind of like shuts him down, shuts his heart down, shuts him down, and he acts out as if he was like a little toddler or, you know, that I've never found something more accurate than, trust me, this is not an excuse. This is an explanation that when there's anger underneath the anger is hurt. That doesn't mean that it's your job to like fix it. But let's get two cards. Look at that electric eel and you're the armadillo. So he is mirroring somewhat your, you may be over boundarying yourself right now. I'm not telling you not to have boundaries, but it does say to open to infinite possibilities. Now is a lucky time and give with gratitude and grace. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have love is all around and take a time out. So yes, a lot in the TikTok reading came out about sound and didn't get any of these cards. So he is being hit with some like out of the blue revelations. This is very much a tower card for me about love. Why? I think he always blamed other people for hurting him in love. And all of a sudden, he's like thinking, maybe this is me. <laughs> maybe part of this is me. Um, maybe I need to look at what I'm doing. So bottom of this deck is seeing signs, feeling insecure. I look at your social media, Aries. I write texts and delete them. I miss your smell. I don't know what to say. Do you even miss me? Virgo, Pisces, diamond light, gold, sacred geometry, fairies. He's seeing how everything fits together. If I called, would you answer? Kisses. You're on his mind. I'm scared you'll leave or hurt me. That's the main one right there. Sagittarius knows your twin flames. Yeah, he's had an awakening about the connection between you two for sure. There's something very, something happened that was very definitive is the word they're using. Very definitive. Like no one and nothing could have known this thing and either you knew it or he saw a symbol or something. Something happened where it was a confirmation in his like innermost mind. There's no way this could have come any other way except that we are this connection. And I don't know what happened. Um, probably different for everybody, but something happened. And you could have, you know, if you two have been talking, you guys could have um, been, you could have been saying things to him and he was like, just kind of blowing it off. Like, okay, whatever, this is kind of nuts. And then something like confirmed it. Okay, so I'm gonna get, Divine Feminine cards, Ascended Master cards, crystals, and dragons, and then some messages. I'm going to do three piles. On the bottom, we have the Divine Mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The 
presence of love is the absence of judgment. Okay, that's beautiful. So what I said about his mind being like running the show is that part of what's going on is that his heart is trying to inform him that the mind is running a fear program. So higher learning here. This has been coming out a lot lately. You have learned from experience. More inner study now is required for further progress. Yes, he has learned a lot. You have learned a lot too. And things are changing. It's funny, it's like he's either moving really fast or really slow. Or not at all. And then beautiful, we have Numite Healer on the bottom with heart healing. Isn't that beautiful, Dioptase? So any of these energies you can use while you're meditating, sleeping, walking, showering, or just ask the entity, the energy, to come to you, to teach you what you need to know, to help attune your energy field to it. Um, there is a lot of earth energy going on right now. Clears your path for the and the land around you. Stay grounded and be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing and you will move forward in life. So two cards really about progressing. And we did both in both the readings I've done today, we've had this brown and the blue card. So kind of like, you know, like earth, water, sky and land, or dirt and a real, it's just, I said it in the last reading I did, I think it's, it's really hard for me to delineate readings, but um, we are like grounding heaven on earth right now. And he is really waking up to the fact that you are his heaven on earth. And it's important for you, especially as his energy comes towards you, to really stay grounded in the present moment. Oh, beautiful. So I did get this in the 1111 reading, the Divine Feminine Cosmic Egg. I hold the universe within me. I am... Sorry, this is pile one. We have three piles here. You can pick one or all. I hold the universe within me. I'm the force of ever expanding love. Wow, this is a really powerful pile. Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. So I just said heaven on earth, right? Well, here we are. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to concern, uh, to occur. Opal, Joy, and then Archangel Gabriel's Dragon. So I always talk about the diamond. You can ask Archangel Gabriel for a diamond to put in your soul star chakra or wherever he wants to put it for you. Brings purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You carry Archangel Gabriel's Diamond. Okay, pile two. Hestia, the goddess of sanctuary. So this is the home. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. So these are all like super high level cards coming out. Also Mary Magdalene, present from 1111. Teacher awakens you have something important to share. Follow the inner call and don't let anything stop you. Brazilianite, flexibility, and also the aquamarine card has been coming out too. Rainbow Dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. So this is like the Fool card in this deck to me um, with all the chakras lit up here. Have trust, rediscover wisdom, expect miracles, and accept opportunities. And they have given the go-ahead in the last couple readings and in the 11-11 reading that you can cut the cord with your karmic, or your karmic or his. Um, and if you want to do that, I'm doing that now for twins. Um, you just purchased two of the 1111 readings. And then I send you a recording and then I send you a confirmation when the cord cutting is done. <coughs> Always check with yourself, your higher self. Wow. Another huge, huge pile, huge energies. A lot of abundance here. Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance. I choose to feel abundant. Wealth is an inside job. 
Lord Shiva with the snakes, transcendence, so really scorpionic energy. Rise up and honor your inner force. Steps are being given, dance with the universe. Kyanite blue, letting go, so. No um, coincidence that I was just talking about the karmic energies. And the golden Christed dragon brings a higher love <coughs> so that you can embody the Christ light. Absorb the Christ light. You are protected. Expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional. Okay, that's the reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a beautiful, super high vibrational reading. Um, there's a lot of really positive energy in this reading. He's kind of in limbo. Give it time. Uh, if you feel like this resonates with you, I would go watch the TikTok readings. There's a lot about not speaking really hastily without a lot of reflection. So that's it. Bye for now.